Town Friday Night is sponsored by these local businesses. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Touchdown Friday Night, one of the largest high school football shows in Tennessee and Virginia. We're back together, reunited like yeah. peaches and herb, baby. <laughs> I'm Kenny Hawkins, along with my tag team. Don't ask which is which. Tag team partner, Nick Dugan. We got 14 games on tap from Knoxville and Southwest Virginia. But yeah. before we get this party started, here's Nick with the Mead Tractor Top Tackle of the Night. Top Tackle of the Night is brought to you by Mead Tractor. Kenny, our top tackle tonight comes from the Commonwealth Holston hosting Hurley tonight. Say that five times fast. Rebels looking to ground and pound, but all they get is pounded oh. here. Colton Hess, he comes out of nowhere right to the lay the too. boom. A junior, it's like a missile in on the stop. We'll look at that in slow-mo. The Cavaliers, they were all over the Rebels tonight, Kenny, and Hess all over the ball carriers for our top tackle of the night. Thanks, Nick. We'll start in Blundville, where the Elizabethan Cyclones are just happy to finally be playing football. The last time they were on the field was September the 10th. That's a Sunday. Tonight, the unbeaten Cyclones face Air Fisher and the 4-1 Sullivan East Patriots. Let's start things off with Elizabeth in a big game for Zeth Mullins. He bounces out to the left side, and now he's off to the races. Hmm. Look at him go. Oh. Just before he gets to the end zone, he lays the hammer down on a Sullivan East defender for the score. Oh. That might have been the tackle or the hit of the night. <laughs> In the second, the Cyclones defense up and making plays. Cameron Baker, the touchdown maker. Picks that pass off in the middle of the field. Cyclones still up big in this one. On the next drive, Elizabeth and keeping their foot on the gas pedal. Jariah Griffin takes the ball down the right sideline, and he won't be denied at the goal line. That's a score for Elizabeth, and Southern East just could not get anything going in this one. Cyclone defense chopping the Patriot offense down on the screen play. Elizabeth gets a big victory on the road tonight. 47 to nothing. Just having players like this step up and make plays, these guys deserve all the credit right here. Uh, we went out and executed what we planned all week. Uh, we knew they couldn't hang with us. They, they did a lot of talking and we just come out here and executed. Just the whole defensive front, they was playing great. Good pressure by the other defensive end and defensive tackles. Playing great on the ball. That was the shortest Sean interview I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Elizabeth and big win tonight over Southern East by the final of 47 to nothing. Williamsburg, Kentucky all over North Green by the final of 57, 52 to 7. William Blunt looking to overcome his first loss of the year, hosting Science Hill. Remember, they lost last week to West Ridge. Govs down already 28-7. Late in the first half, Brett Cortez keeps it himself. He wins the race to the pylon to make it 28-14. And then how about this? The Govs not giving up. They the onside kick. Mm. Governors fall on it. The good news for Science Hill, they couldn't do anything with it. And once again, the governors are impeached. Science Hill wins this one tonight on the road over William Blunt by the final of 56 to 48. Chucky Doak beating Cock County 26-21. Morristown East was in Kingsport tonight to take on Dobbins Bennett. The Indians started fast in this one tonight. Braden Simpson takes a handoff up the middle, takes it 45 yards inside the five-yard line before he's brought down. DB finishes the drive. Brandon Carswell bulls his way into the end zone for the score. 7-0 lead. The Tribe defense got the ball right back. Jaya Carnes picks off the pass. He'll cut all the way across the field, sets the offense up inside the red zone again. The Indians would put another six on the board when quarterback Will Hurd finds Tylen Taylor, who makes the nice catch in the end zone. Tribe up 14-0. They didn't look back. If we go to the board, all DB tonight, they went on to win 45 to nothing. And it was Hancock County over Cosby, 36-32. Nick. Kenny, thanks. Two bigger schools going toe-to-toe -to -toe at the Ridge tonight. David Crockett, the Pioneers, battling with the Wolves West Ridge in just their third year of existence after consolidation. But these two schools, they've played each year since that happened. The record split one and one coming into this third meeting tonight. West Ridge jumping out to an early 16-0 lead in the second quarter. They pour it on from there. Trey Frazier hits Sawyer Tate. Gets in behind the defense and ain't nobody stopping him till he hits pay dirt. 23 zip. The Wolves have the lead. Yeah, Trey and Frazier's uh, tough, man. Yeah, he is. And what's his <laughs> nice? Why not do it twice? Frazier to Tate wide open. West Ridge 30 to nothing up in the second quarter. The Wolves, they came out firing the second half to Bryson Horn. Now in that quarterback. It's Dylan Foray in the back of the end zone. West Ridge led 43 to 7 in the third. They were rolling in this one as they go on to get the victory. I mean, we got a great quarterback. He's throwing balls, and we got a great defense who's 
helped us stop the ball on all levels and Trey is doing great and our line is doing great as well. It's just overall team performance. I mean, we, we, we did out and we executed our game plan. We did everything we we're supposed to. Blocking was phenomenal. Catching our uh, receivers were phenomenal. Defense came out, made a point today. And, uh, you know, I think we're starting to turn some heads. Uh, I thought we came out offensively, made some explosive plays. Our offensive line blocked well. Trade made some big plays downfield. Saw your tape was awesome. And defensively, you know, shut them down there early. They got a late one, but I was proud of our effort. Boy, shut them down. They did 43 to seven would be your final twin springs. Also defeating Cumberland Gap tonight by the final of 55 to 16 battle for the milk can this evening down on the range. South Green and West Green doing battle. The Rebels led 15 to zip at the half third quarter trying to extend that lead. Jacob Susong looking to convert on fourth down. The pass falls incomplete. It's a turnover on downs. The buffs force it and they get the possession. Dawson Daniels now on offense play action into the flat. Frank he does the rest. Oh. 61 oh. yards to the crib, Kenny, down the Look near sideline. Look at him go. 15 to 6 after the missed two point. Rebels respond, though, delayed handoff to former player of the week, Nash Raider. Raider weaving, Raider. bobbing in and out. Raider. He looks like he's going to get in, but he's clipped up just short of the goal line, no matter. Susan, a few plays later, finishes it off with the QB sneak. He got himself in there. 22 to 6 is the Rebel lead. South Green stays undefeated, and they reclaim that milk can 29 to 14 is your final Gatlinburg Pittman all over Johnson County tonight 49 to 6. All right that's five down still nine more to go in Northeast Tennessee and Southwest Virginia but before we get to those games here are the Abingdon cheerleaders. Oh, 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 See what had happened. Abingdon Falcons volunteer Falcons. That's the volunteer cheerleaders. We apologize for that. Let's head to Carter County. Rivalry in Roan Mountain is Hampton and Cloudland hooked up. Highlanders would strike first. Kyle Birchfield found Austin Caraway across the middle. He fought his way into the end zone and just like that, 6 0. Bulldogs next possession. Gino Carico takes a handoff and he's almost untouched as he turns on the Jets and he's gone for the tying touchdown and this one was all Hampton as we go to the board. Bulldogs roll over the Highlanders tonight by the final of 50 to 6. Northview Academy beating Granger 28 to nothing. Up on Stony Creek tonight, Happy Valley led Unica 28 by 28 the break. The Rangers were driving. Connor McKinney finds Isaiah White in the flat, but big number 64, Zach Hicks, Wrestles the ball <laughs> like a man with a hoagie right there <laughs> for the big turnover deep in Unica territory. Then a few plays later, Jamie Easterland takes a handoff up the middle, breaks a couple of tackles, and gets in for the score. Happy Valley would roll tonight. They went on to win by the final of 35 to nothing over Unica, and it was Cherokee beating Seymour 33 to 30. Nick. Can you look like me trying to wrestle a hoagie away for dinner later? <laughs> for me, that's, that's right. right. Churchill, senior night for the band. <laughs> Volunteer hosting Greenville on short rest after playing Tuesday. Didn't look like it faced the Devils, though. Key third down, Corbin Cannon pulls the handoff, keeps the scamper, and gets that first down later in the drive. Cannon over the middle. He's going to find Hayden Goad. Goad makes the catch. Coasts on in for the first score of the night. 7 nothing visitors. Still in the first quarter, the Devils are knocking on the door again. The snap's low. Cannon corrals it finally, but Grant Weininger makes sure he doesn't go any further. Wow. Big tackle there, but a few plays later, Emmanuel Dixon just a few yards out. He pounds it in. 14 nothing. Greenville is the lead. They blank the home squad tonight. 56 to nothing. These guys is just, play at the beginning just of the week. played on Tuesday. They're the Energizer Bunny. Wow. Can they just keep on going? Daniel Boone picking up a win over Campbell County 44 21. Let's move to the Stone Castle tonight. Abingdon visiting Tennessee High. First pass on the drive. It's a score. That's a pitch and catch. Aiden Woods walks into the end zone. Abingdon up seven zip after that one. Home team storming back. It did not take long. The very next possession on their mm, first the possession mm. of the game. Look at this. Look at that. Making several defenders miss all the way towards the end zone. And he is going to skate on in for a touchdown. We've got ourselves a ball game at the Stone Castle. The Vikings took the lead and they would not look back. This is an interception coming here for the Vikings defensive penalty would bring it back on the touchdown. But Tennessee High keeps the ball and they'd make the most of it. A few place later quarterback Jimmy Phipps fakes even the cameraman coasts in for the end zone and the score Tennessee High goes on to win this one 28 14 Maryville all over Hardin Valley tonight 48 to 7. 
All right, that's nine games down. Still plenty to go in Southwest Virginia. We make a run for the border here. Before we get to those games, here's the Union Marching Band to help take us to play. Welcome back to the show, everyone. Gate City taking on Union High School. This game at Bullet Park tonight, and the Bears had a 28-0 lead here in the second quarter. Quarterback Rayshon Anderson drops back, throws deep downfield. That ball is intercepted by Gabe Johnson. Now the Blue Devils trying to fight back before halftime. This time, Luke Bledsoe looking to throw. Rose right, chucks one up. Paul Huff makes a huge grab over three people for Union. Union responds in a big way. Now the Bears looking to score. Anderson trying to find Huff. He makes the catch, but he's hit. He loses the ball. It's going to be recovered by Keegan Light. But Gate City was not able to capitalize after this play right here. Union went on to win over Gate City tonight by the final of 35 to nothing. It was Lebanon picking up a big win over everybody's beating Rich, Rich Lands this year. What's going on up here by the final 28 to 7. Rye Cove welcomes in Gates uh, Castlewood tonight. Almost at Gate City and the Eagles already have a lead early in the first quarter. So why not add to it? Landon Lane rolls right looking for a receiver. Can't find one, so he takes it himself. Breaks a few tackles. Oh, reaches his way into the end zone. Looks like a play of the week. Ryan Cove takes mm. a 21 0 lead. We're on the kickoff now. Eagles kicker Landon McNew. Not McOld. Not has a perfect kick. Blue Devils thought it was going into the end zone, mm. and it didn't, so they had to pick it up, and then they get pinned on the two yard line. You already know what's coming next. Careful. The Eagles swarm the quarterback. They will tackle him back in the end zone for a safety. He had no chance, and the fans are loving it. Ryko gets the punt, drives down the field. Lane rolling right again. He's going to find Logan Barnett. He caught it at the 10 and gets 10 yards to before his contact to extend the Eagles' lead to 30 to nothing. Ooh. This is not a misprint. Let's go to the board. Ryko wins tonight 70 to mm. nothing. Wow. Honegger over Grundy tonight by the final 58 to 6. In Saltville, we have the Northwood Panthers hosting their neighbors, the Chihaui Warriors. Starting off in fourth down, Panthers Eli Williams tries to find an opening but fumbles before going down, getting the Warriors a bigger head start for the changeover. The Warriors Asher Chapman passes the ball to Noah Hill, oh. who then passes the ball back to Ian Sturgill, but wasn't able to get past the Panthers. Later in the quarter, Asher Chapman passes the ball to Noah Hill, slipping past the Panthers, Eli Williams, and he'll get in for the touchdown. That made it six to nothing. As we go to the scoreboard, looks like this, Jahawi blanking Northwood tonight, 37 to nothing, and it was Craig County over Twin Valley, 34-14. Nick? Yeah, how about a little hook and ladder there? there you go. Oh, boy, it's homecoming. The Patrick Henry Rebels hosting the John Battle Trojans tonight. Rebels start us off. Cameron Goodspeed, uh, who else? Slipping past everything and everyone the Trojans throw at him. You just can't bring this guy down, Kenny. He is unreal. Wow. All the way to the house for a touchdown later in the second. Good speed. Wasn't as lucky here with a wall of Trojans stepping in to stop him, causing a fumble, in fact. It was recovered by the Trojans. Brayden Emerson right there punches out before he hits the turf. The Trojans' Braxton Emerson now trying to find an opening on offense. He does not find it at right. Then he tries left. Here he oh, comes. Oh. Rolling. That's the old backyard school oh. play. Just like he drew it up, he's going to run it all the way back in for a touchdown. Bowling defenders wow. over 21-18 at that point. But we go to the board. Patrick Henry, 49-19. And Cameron Goodspeed responsible for all seven touchdowns. All seven. George with sure. over Rural Retreat, 23-6. The clock was running in Damascus. We had the Holston Cavaliers hosting, or facing the Hurley Rebels, excuse me. The Cavs, Noah Tweed throwing long to Hayden Sinclair, nice. who runs almost uncontested. Nice. Nice. Settles underneath that one. It's 37 nothing at this point. Later in the quarter, Hurley's coach not too keen on the call made by the officials, oh. and he was uh -oh. nearly Watch ready, now. Watch ready coach. to come to blows. Coach. Watch out. Hey, got the hold me back guy. Come on, there coach. You, go. there. you got right. the get back guy. Couple get back. on sportsman likes, but that gives the coach. Cavs. A gain of 75 yards. It looks that's, like me when they don't put fries in my bag. When that's, I ask it's for. an easy way to get 75. <laughs> this is even easier. Punching this one in from just a few yards out. 44 nothing at that point. As we go to the board, Hurley falls to Holston tonight. 52 to zip. Ridgeview over Lee High. 48 to seven. Up at Mitchell Stadium, the Graham G-Men taking on Virginia High. The G-Men looking for that win. The G-Men. 
Newman is right. Looking for the win on homecoming tonight up there in Bluefield. Graham getting the ball first. Their drive stalls and they forced a punt. The Bearcats returner. He's going to misjudge that one. Mm. Can't quite play it. Doink. That football's a funny shape, Kenny. That's what my dad used to tell right. me. They scoop it up and he scores in the Bearcat territory. 7-0 Graham. A couple plays later, Dalton Roberts gets a snap. Rolls right. Finds Chris Edwards. Catches. Extends and gets in there for the first score. Oh, there's the first score right there, 7 nothing. After a Bearcat punt, Graham finds themselves in Virginia high territory again. Daniel Jennings, that's a little easy, hands off and runs right into the end zone. It's up. They're up 14 nothing on the G-men. The Bearcats, they got to answer, though. Deion Graham snaps, rolls left. Oh, time. he's wide open downfield. Keyshawn Prime Smith, time. wide open on the blown coverage. He takes it all the way down the sidelines for a score, 14-7. G-Men, though, they hold on to win a tight one tonight, wow. Kenny. It was close, 21-14. to 14. All right, that's going to do it for our high school football coverage tonight. But if there's a highlight or a game you missed, you can log on to our website, WJHL.com. Shortly after the show, we'll have it up there. When we come back, it wraps up the day in sports. Stay with us.